Welcome to the 7 Days to Die 365 Day Challenge where I have to survive for one whole year within 7 Days to Die. In this run there will be no airdrops, no respawning loot, no upgradable skills, no zombies and I'll be playing on a randomly generated map. Even though zombies are set to off there's still plenty of things that can kill me. Falling from tall places, drowning, landmines, and the occasional glitch zombie and or bear. As I mentioned, zombies can still spawn under some glitch conditions. For starters, zombies on the border of the snow biome, as well as zombies in police stations. And the second condition for zombie spawning, which is a pink horde caused by me doing a little too much work in game. Anyway, without further ado, let's get right into it. This is the one year challenge for 7 Days to Die. Okay. Part 4, let's do this. So, today we are making a blunderbuss. Hopefully, we'll see. It depends on the materials we can find. God fucking damn it, this goddamn ladder is getting on my goddamn nerves. I can tell you that shit. Whatever, we're fine. We'll just eat to recover our health. We have a bandage, but we need to eat anyway, so it's fine. So we need to go to the junkyard, because I believe that's where we found the duct tape. And as for glue, we just need to start looting some mailboxes, and we should find glue. Also, there's trash. Trash might have it. So, uh, parts 4, 5, and 6 will probably be shorter videos. But the reason is because I have to record these kind of in a rush. Um, so I can get to doing Doki Doki. Look, the, the price you pay for a Doki Doki compilation is three very short seven days videos. Okay, so I think this was the one that had it. Yep, it's got a hole in the fence. Yep, there it is. And actually, now we need the paper. Oh, God damn it! I keep forgetting the lag. There we go. It's like I gotta tap the button twice to get to do it. It's fucking annoying. Okay. You got some glue? No, nails. Don't need nails. We need glue. Glue. Nope, that's useless to me as well. Okay, we need to find a house... Yeah, the house can't have a mailbox. There's a house this way. We need to find a mailbox because a mailbox is probably going to have glue. Uh, maybe if we keep going this way. I'm hoping. That's in our garbage dump. Smash! Oh, glass, that's good. We can make balls with that. Uh, more bottle. Wait, no, that's just tape. Gas can. That's useful in the future. Not necessarily right now, but definitely in the future that might be helpful. A safe? There's a safe. You can break into that. Oh, wait. No, go back to that. I want the casino token. I'm in there. Alright, let's start tearing into this bad boy, because I didn't even know this was here. But I immediately care about it. Give it the old Chris Masho. Oh shit. Uh, uh. 
What do we need? What do we need? Gunsmithing would give us a higher quality uh, blunderbuss, I feel like, right? But... Wait, where's, uh, where's the arrow stuff? Uh, arrows, arrows, arrows. Can we not get arrows? Oh, archery, dur. Oh shit, we might as well let that level on its own. Cause it's almost there. It'd be a waste. So I'm pretty sure the bar resets if you, uh. Yeah, we gotta repair this. Repair! Oh, we lost two value points on it, though. In case you didn't see the, the last episode, uh, I talked about being able to use my skill points on things that would be able to upgrade normally. So, I still can't use them to make things like workbenches and ammo and stuff, but I can use my skill points to actually upgrade like construction and archery and pistols and stuff, because those would level up from use anyway. It's just you're making them level up faster this way. Just keep smashing it until it breaks open. Can't wait to get the paper that's inside here after all this. Look, I'll take it back if there's a sniper rifle in here. But until then, I'm going to continue to be very, very sassy. Look, I already got to record three of these in one night. Well, technically four of these because the one I just recorded, but... Yeah, I'm recording parts 3, 4, 5, and 6 all in one night because I've got to get these at, like done in advance. But it's fine. Tis fine indeed. Um, as for Mario Sunshine, because I, I kind of want to bring this up, I don't know if I'll be doing a compilation for Mario Sunshine or not. We'll see when the time comes. It depends how long it takes me to do that. I'm going to be doing like three hour videos for Mario Sunshine. I just kind of like burped mid-sentence. I turned into Rick Sanchez for a second. Uh, Morty, Morty, look, Morty. Morty, yeah, break the safe open, Morty. Yeah, get the paper, Morty. Oh, jeez, Rick. Oh, I hope it's a gun. It's going to be paper, Morty. 100%. This game is bullshit, Morty. Also, anyone questioning if I'll ever go back to playing Among Us? I might. Um, I think I will if the Hind Seek uh, game mode ever comes out. Because they keep saying it will. But it never does. It makes me sad. Also, why did that one particular hit from my hand, like my axe, come out through my left ear, specifically? It was very, very annoying. That did that. I didn't like that. But yeah, when we go on Switch, I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do Mario Sunshine. I'm gonna do probably Hand Time, um, unless videos come out for this alongside it, which they might. I really want to get through this game as fast as possible because I really don't want this game taking too long. Um, because like once this gets done, we're doing Elden Ring. And then, uh, once Elden Ring is done, I think we'll do Stardew. Or we'll do, like, I, I don't know, something, like a long play series. Maybe Final Fantasy VII at some point would be nice. I'd really like to do that. But I've never actually fully completed Final Fantasy VII. Never fully completed any Final Fantasy game because I haven't had the time. But,
at some point I'm gonna do a poll um, for my viewers you can put in the comments but later on during when I do the uh, Doki Doki compilation I'll do a poll asking if people want compilations or would rather me upload daily because I can do one or the other and personally I enjoy making the compilations a lot um, but if people would rather me just do daily uploads I could I could definitely do that but just note that it means no more compilations if you want compilations at that point you're gonna have to make them for your damn self so like I said putting that out there Ooh, shotgun receiver yes we need that that's one of the few parts we need so we, we need what we need the uh, the stock now that's it we need glue to make our blunderbuss that's all we need left is glue it's really frustrating that we can't find a mailbox uh, let's go this way I think we just need to find a damn mailbox because if we could find a mailbox we'd probably find glue in there we just find glue we make our blunderbuss gas we need that oh I know where I am I'm by, by the movie theater pills drugs yes good drugs paper that's not we need glue damn it we need glue yes glue we did it we found glue oh I feel good I feel good now we found glue we make a blunderbuss. How close to our base are we? Oh fuck, we're far. Okay, run. We can make a fucking crazy ass shotgun now. I don't know if it's a shotgun. I I think the description makes it sound more like a like an old fashioned rifle, but from my memory, it functions like a shotgun. So I'm very confused. Well, we'll find out when we get back to our base and we can make it. We also need a uh, nitrate powder though to make the the actual gunpowder. So that's a little it's a little cringe, but well, we can't use those. Those are illegal. Can't do shrooms, man. Say no to drugs. Okay, get back to our base. So yeah, we're only doing like three days today, but look, it's the quality of those three days that matters. We're going to get ourselves a blunderbuss and we're going to make like, we're going to get a bunch of ammo for it. And then I think like one of these days we'll go and just murder the fuck out of that bear. The second we get a day with good weather, we're going to kill that fucker. We're going to make that bastard pay for existing. I don't know what he did to deserve the hate, but fuck him. Fuck him in particular. Oh shit, right, we had this going on. Oh, we've lost so much wood. Due to sheer negligence. Okay, now we wait for this to be done. As for the ammo, we need gunpowder. So, we're gonna need to find a pile of nitrate outside in order to do that I'm trying to think what what else we can do all oh, right we need to update the shotgun I just saw that because we now have more parts for it uh, where is this there it is shotgun receiver yes yeah, so all we need now is the stock and we have a fully complete shotgun we don't have any slugs but we have a shotgun basically Uh, put the drugs away, put the gas cans away, put the plastics away, uh, put this away, put this away, put this away, put this away. Yep, okay. 
Uh, we should also smelt down some of the stuff that we have because we should definitely smelt this. And we should definitely smelt uh, this. Oh yeah, right. We should probably wait for that to be done. Okay, game. Really, you don't need to stutter that much. Yay, console edition be like. Okay, we're good for food. God, if only we had the ability to get that fucking skill that just makes our metabolism go fucking crazy. So, I'm trying to think what we're going to need to do over the next couple of, like, in-game days. We're definitely going to need to kill some animals. We're definitely going to need to uh, finish off this blunderbuss plus all the anim you know ammo necessary for it. Uh, we're going to need to loot these buildings because we're going to need like more pistol ammo. And I'm trying to think what else we need to do. Oh, and we also need to get our tools maxed out as well so we can start like breaking down that prison like getting all the loot in there. The theater is also going to have a nice amount of loot in it. But again, I want like better, uh, I want better like materials before we get in there to start breaking stuff with like this pickaxe because man, I really don't want to have to take longer than necessary. Especially in the case of that prison because I don't know if the zombies will actually spawn in there or not. And if they do, I may need to get out of there very, very quickly. So, what are we going to do for day 16? we got to figure this out. Here we go. Get that. Uh, yeah, we need. To, I think we need to look for a pile of nitrate to, like, start digging into. That's definitely, like, a necessary thing that's going to need to happen. Is it snowing out there? Looks like it's about to. I don't know. Why is it we can't stop getting fog? This fog is getting on my nerves. I really am starting to think it's being caused by heat map. Because the fact that we've had fog almost consistently the entire time makes me think we are like on stage one of heat map, which is making me very, very concerned because that means we're going to spawn in a horde soon if we don't stop. So there might be some animals up here. Because we did see, like, a deer and a couple pigs up there. I mean, it's not safe to hunt around town because that bear's roaming around. We did kill a bunny last video. That spinning bunny. I'm so happy we saw that bunny spinning. That made me so... Like, I laughed hard at that. Like, internally, out... You know, externally, I shouted, Spin. Because my brain is broken and I've watched too much vine sauce. But internally I was laughing hysterically like Joker in Mask of the Phantasm laughing. Because it was that funny to me. But um, speaking of that, speaking of movies, I, I do intend to do a second channel at some point. And I won't attach it to this channel because, you know... Anytime you get involved with movies, YouTube likes to scream copyright even when it's not in copyright infringement, but. I wonder, can I crouch jump through here? I'm really fascinated. I cannot. I can, I mean, I can crouch into there, but I can't get out of there. Okay, well, let's go find some nitrate and maybe some animals to eat. And like our good friend Jesse Fox from Unmetal, we'll eat them while they're alive so they scream in pain. It's a weird color for the sky. I don't like that. I'm going to get my, my pistol out just in case. So we need to find nitrate. Like a pile of that sticking out of the ground somewhere.
and we need to find uh I'm trying to think of what else definitely nitrate nitrates the the focus because we gotta get blunderbuss ammo made if we can find some nitrate just chilling outside that would be fantastic oh, was that bird's nest no it's a rock Um, nitrate, nitrate, nitrate. I mean, we also need to do some hunting, but nitrate's really, really important for us to find because we got to get that ammo made, man. We got to kill that bear. We got to do all this, all this shit, all this shit we can't do without nitrate to make ammo with. You know, it's funny to, yes, here it is. Anyway, before I got distracted by my own stupidity. Um, so the funny thing too is I actually didn't remember the blunderbuss existed when I started like making these rules. That said, I don't think I would have bothered accounting for it anyway because I just know how valueless it is. Is this not a nitrate deposit? Right, I think there's something in this game where it's like you can get nitrate from these coal piles or they're just... Uh, they're their own thing, but I'm going to grab this coal anyway since it's here. Because why the fuck wouldn't I? Okay, great. Uh, Can we repair this? Yes, we can. What's in here? More eggs, that's good. Yeah, so that wasn't a nitrate pile, that was a pile of coal, that's a shame, but what are you going to do? Is this nitrate or coal? This is coal, okay. I'm fine. I could use more food and water, but I don't need to worry about it. I can focus on that when I get back to the base. Michonne Compri. I, I love Fox's broken English from Smash Bros. Melee so much. Mission compris. Faya. Toya? Not as great as Captain Falcon's broken English. And nowhere near the masterpiece of Joseph Joestar's broken English. But. Yeah, we really violate the resources of this area because I'm just looking around. I do not see a single deer or pig for fucking miles. We have overhunted and this is a problem. This is a very big problem. Wait. Look at that deer spazzing his way up to the top of the hill. We need to kill this fucker. Oh, did it die? Oh, it died! Shit, I wasn't expecting that. I really wasn't expecting it to be dead when we got up here. I'm not going to lie. Damn, my arrows must be doing a lot of damage then. Because that means it died of bleed damage. Because I didn't kill it just now. Like when I shot that shot into it. It was still because it was dead already. That's fine by me. More meat for you, boy. You know, I love how I said we shouldn't be hunting animals because we're overhunting and then I kill a deer. Because of course I do. Well, you know what that means, though? We can actually upgrade our archery skill now. There we go. We still need to find nitrate, though. This is getting ridiculous. Is this nitrate? No, it's a rock. It's just a rock, Xander. You, you fucking idiot. You bidyote. 
idiot. This YouTuber I watch, he see that he have to do the thing and he not do the thing. He says he will not hunt the deer, but then he hunt the deer. Why does he do this thing? Was great video, I watched whole thing, but fuck him. Oh, nitrate, nitrate, nitrate. Wow, we have no nitrate deposits, do we? We've had some really unfortunate RNG and some bizarrely fortunate RNG. Like RNG during this uh, this playthrough. Like some of the weirdest mix of RNG I've ever seen. <sighs> Dear, why? Damn it, you fucker! Get back here. How, wait, how did we make like almost a full 360, like not 360, 180 back to where we were? We're literally almost back to our, our town. Also, where did this deer go? That's a car. Where did this deer go? This deer just like fucked off. Why do animals keep, like, disappearing on me? Why is every animal I'm trying to hunt a fucking magician? And, of course, now it's snowing, so I can't see the nitrate even if it's there. I could be walking literally on, like, tons of nitrate right now and not know it. Because of the snow. Well, you know what? This is a good opportunity to start hunting around, like, this area and seeing, like, what's what's all this shit about I mean the thing I kind of want to avoid under all circumstances is I really really would like to avoid military camps just cuz like I know they're going to have landmines surrounding them That said military camps are also going to be fucking full of ammo so, like, that's the trade-off. On one hand, they're going to be ultra-fucking-dangerous. On the other hand, they're going to be, like, just filled with resources to an extreme. So it's, like, making me kind of, like, I want to, but I also don't want to. Why is there no nitrate anywhere? I cannot find any. This may be the problem with our blunderbuss plan. Yeah, this blunderbuss strategy may not happen if we can't find some nitrate powder. Because we can't make ammo without it. Well, there's honey. That's good. We definitely like that. Yeah, I don't see any, any nitrate at all. There's food. I am baffled by the severe lack of any sort of, like, food I'm finding. Not food, uh, nitrate. I really thought we'd find some. Like, not a lot, but at least some. On the plus side, we're t finding tons of fucking arrows and, like, not arrows, feathers and eggs. I mean, just tons and tons of, like, bird-related items, but not, not any of the thing we actually need. It's a real problem. I don't really know what to do in this situation. Because we need nitrate. I thought we found nitrate, but it was actually... Oh, God, let's not go there. That's that's the burnt lands. Uh, I thought we found nitrate, but it, then it was just coal. So it's like, no, that's not useful. Coal is nice, but coal's not really good for much. Nitrate's good for bullets. Well, not bullets, but gunpowder. 
Nope, that's useless. Wait. Yes, nitrate! We found it! Oh my god, we found nitrate. Oh my god. That was so long we had to search. Or There's no way we're getting back before nightfall, though. We got a long way to go in a very, very dangerous... Dangerous, foggy, rainy place, but... Oh god, there's so much nitrate. We're gonna be able to make so much ammo. Don't snow, not now. I need to be able to see the white from the nitrate. Well, you know what? Where there's some, there's more. I'm gonna actually mark where we are. I'm gonna mark this spot on the map. There we go. I'm gonna loot this bird's nest. Oh, I already did loot this bird's nest. Okay. So now we need to get home. And we need to get there very, very quickly. Okay, I'm glad we found that, though. How close are we? Oh, we're gonna have to cross to the fucking street with a bear on it, though. We're not far, but we have to cross through dangerous territory to get back. Ugh. Really don't like that. I'll watch behind me in case there's a bear. So we got under three hours to get back. Not that we can see anything in this fucking snow, but. I mean, at least we killed a deer and upgrade our archery skills. That's good. There's a hill here. That's cool. Yeah, we should go around the hill, not over the hill. There's no way we're getting back in time. This is so bad. This is such a bad situation I put myself in. I feel so incredibly stupid for doing this. Ryan, we also need to make that watchtower, too. That's another thing. Ooh, bunny. No, don't don't kill the bunny. It's tempting to kill the bunny. Not worth the meat, not worth the bullets, and not worth the fucking time it's going to take to get us back to where we need to be. How close are we? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, we need to just cross here. There's no way, though. See, if we cross here, we're going to be in a situation where we're going to like end up falling down a fucking cliff. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like not being able to see anything. It terrifies the shit out of me. Okay. Again, another massive hill. Well, this road leads into town at least. As ugly as this situation is going to be, this road does lead us where we need to go. We've got one hour to get back to safety. Before it becomes pitch black and we can't see anything. Oh, man. Okay, that deer scared the shit out of me. I'm not gonna lie. That deer scared the ever-loving fuck out of me. I thought that was the bear for a second. I just saw something moving out of the corner of my eye. And I, like, low-key almost shit my pants out of fear. Like, legitimately almost pissed myself. That was fucking terrifying. Can I even climb this? No, it's basically solid wall. I love random generated worlds. Oh boy. Yeah, we're just gonna sit in a corner and just look left and right all night. There's no way we can get back in time. The road is separated by, like, a fucking wall of cliffs. I love random generation worlds. They're so wonderful. This is terrifying, by the way.
I can barely see anything. Imagine if this is how it ends. Just me getting greedy for fucking nitrate powder. That reminds me, gunpowder. Oh, okay, easy. Easy mode. God, we have so much blunderbuss ammo like that we're going to be able to make. Okay, wait. So, NT damage 4.72. This does 11 point... Oh, God, it's way worse. But it has unlimited ammo, but it's worse. Oh. Uh, yeah. I don't know how to feel about this. That snow scared me for a second. I was like, what the fuck's happening to my feet? And I'm like, oh, it's snow. Can this night go by a little faster? Please? Please? Pre please? This is really scary. I don't like this. Oh, I don't like sitting like this. That bear could be charging right at me right now, and I have no fucking clue. Oh. You know, the music's not helping either. Ambience is making me very emotionally uncomfortable. I'm not gonna lie. Very emotionally unhappy by this. Does it say reload times by any chance? Okay, so this upgrades with shotguns, so it's treated as a shotgun. So, that's not too bad actually. So if we upgrade our shotgun skills, it's a decent investment because it's an unlimited ammo weapon effectively. I mean, you're talking about something I can make infinite resources of. Versus an actual shotgun, which for shells, I can't make new shells. Huh. I make 24 shots with this. Okay, that reload's not too bad. But I'm gonna have to do that after every shot, though. What do the iron sights look like? Iron sights aren't bad. It's a lever-action shotgun. We've got the BO3 Argus, boys. Let's go. What we need level up wise? Oh, God, we're so far. Oh, God, we actually need to eat. I didn't realize we were so hungry and thirsty. You know, if it would become daytime, it would be greatly appreciated. God, it's so dark. I hate this. I can't see anything. This is awful. Why is this happening to me? I know why it's happening. I got greedy for nitrate. I know exactly why. I simped for nitrate and this is the punishment. It's good to know, though. I, I know where I can get some nitrate is over there. Because where you find one pile of nitrate, there's always more. You know, daytime would be wonderful. I would really greatly appreciate it if it were, like, day right now and not night. Oh, please, game, please, I'm begging you. Oh, yeah, and we still need to cut down trees. Okay. I had to, like, pause and sit up. Oh, it's getting bright. It's day. It's day. I feel so happy. Oh. Sunlight. The top of the road was literally like two feet ahead of me. Alright, this is the ditch. I gotta be real careful. The bear could be around here. I also have to be careful not to fall off this because that's gonna be instant death. Get to the end of the street. Then we're gonna turn. That's all there is to it. 
God, I hope this bear doesn't come up and fucking rape me. That would be just god awful. Oh, I hate this bear so much. I cannot wait to kill this bear. You have no idea how happy I will be once this bear is dead at my hands. I will feel fucking... I will feel glorious in that mo Oh, hello, piggy. That is loud as fuck. I can't tell if I hit him or not. I'm killing you for your meat, piggy. Oh god, that is that is some god awful range. Oh, I hit him. Come here, bitch. Oh man, you are you're a real son of a bitch, you know that? Oh he he felt that. Give me a boy. Give me a boy. Boy, come over here. I said boy. Do my best foghorn and leghorn. Oh, he doesn't know what to do. He's having a conniption fit. You know what? Oh, he's giving me a slip. Look, I need, I need, you're, you're scaring me. I, I love how you can't cancel your arrow actions. Look, for all I know, the bear heard all those shotgun shots and he's just charging at me from behind. I gotta be fast about this, okay? I gotta be right quick. All I know is that I tore this piggy a new asshole and that blunderbuss does next to no damage. But to be fair, I have basically no upgraded shotgun skills, so... It's not exactly like my shotgun skills are, like, superb. So, they need to be worked on. It's a work in progress. Right, so we need to chop down a tree. And we need to find more nitrate. Especially since I burnt through all of that ammo in one singular night. Yeah, I need, uh, well, I need more paper, too, but. So from now on, we need to prioritize nitrate and gunpowder and paper whenever we find it. We also need to destroy some rocks, but those, those will be fine. I mean, it seems like this blunderbuss, if you can hit all the pellets from it, it hurts like hell. The problem is hitting the pellets from it. Because the, the spread on it is just god-awful. I mean, truly terrible. Uh, let's see, nitrate. Not seeing any more nitrate. But that's, for now, I think we're good. Honestly, we should be prioritizing arrows anyway, but the blunderbuss is nice because it is unlimited ammo. I'm pretty sure actually if you mine the uh, the massive rocks and you can get them down to like the ground level, they do actually have nitrate underneath them, but they're such a pain in the ass to get through. Like if I had an auger, sure, I could I could drill through them, but without one of those, it would just take too long to be worthwhile. What are you doing for rock? 211 seems fine. I really want to get back to my base soon. I don't want a repeat of the last night where I had to just sit in a corner like a, a Call of Duty camper. A sad, desperate camper. Let's go back. Let's just go back.
I ran down the hill. I should be able to get back up. Please stop lagging like that. Every time you do that, you make me scared that you're going to, like, crash. And I would really like it if the game would not crash when I'm recording. It would, it would be nice. You know, the longer this game goes on, the more I'm like, man, I'm really regretting the decision to say I was doing 365 days and 100 days, because if I had said 100 days, we'd be like a fifth of the way done. And as is the challenge, we are not a fifth of the way done. And that makes me very, very sad. God, there's a lot of bird's nests here. You know, for a place with no trees, there's a lot of bird's nests. Keep climbing. Let's get back to our base. Feathers, nice. Ooh, glass jar, good. Ooh, bird's nest. More feathers for uh, for bow and arrow. That's great. Uh, is there any nitrate at all? Any nitrate around here? One of the few nice days, and I I can't kill that bear because I just don't have the ammunition for it. Wonderful. I was stuck inside that rock for a second. That was interesting. Really really enjoyed that experience. Very glad it was brief. I really gotta remove this marker. How do I remove markers? Well, I might have to edit that audio out. Uh, my neighbors just decide to be assholes. Just bang around. I don't know why they're doing that. It's getting on my nerves. Yeah, I can't. I can't figure out how to get that to stop that that whole situation right there with the the map. But ooh, trash. Ooh, two things I can use. Twas trash and name only. Okay, I don't know what my neighbors are doing. They're banging around like fucking crazy people. I'm in real fucking sick of these neighbors. They're really getting on my fucking nerves lately. And they're doing this late at night too. It, it's not that's like, oh, they're doing it during the day. Like, they're doing it specifically late at night. This way I'm going to have to start recording like 1 a.m. When these assholes are asleep. Slash fighting. You know, because it's always at 1 a.m. They love fighting at 1 a.m. I don't know why. That's when they choose to do their fighting. I have a suspicion they're a couple and, like, the boyfriend likes to come home from drinking at 1 a.m. That's been my, like, my, you know, observation. You know, from what I can hear through the floor. Well, ceiling for me, floor for them, you know. Look, I'm willing to spill details of these people's lives. If they're going to keep me awake at 1 a.m., I'm going to use their lives for entertainment, damn it. They got to be good for something. Okay, okay, okay. So, we'll smelt the lead. We don't need the lead. We'll smelt the iron. Um, we should get to work on this whole project. We'll just crack the ceiling open. Entire structure falls apart. Now we need a ladder. Uh... So wait, one, two, three, four. I think it's like five, so I need like five of them. Uh, let's swap our let's swap our club. We need to get this done before night twenty one.
Okay, uh, we need another another one of these, uh, where is it, wood frames. I'm going to make, I'm going to make like 15 of these. I'm going to swap it out for the shiv for now because we're not really hunting in this moment, by the way. Speaking of hunting, okay, food situation is getting a little bad. Let's, let's take care of that. And let's also drink. So we're thirsty boys. Yeah, we should definitely eat a little more. Okay. And then we put the ladder here. And... What was that noise? It was like a breathing sound. I didn't like that. Yeah, you know what? These are just more so safety guards. Honestly, I think we could just, like, have the roof like this. And we're gonna make a hatch to make sure nothing just comes, like, falling down our roof somehow in case, like, a bear spawns up here or something. That's the only thing kind of making me a little worried about making this, like, open like this. Somewhere, like, a bear would spawn on top here. Now, the nice thing is if any other animal actually spawns up here, they'll just fall down to their death, which would be really great. But bears are bulky enough they could take the hip, they might get enraged, which is a little concerning. I think I'm going to make guard rails. How do I make rails? Uh, let's see, railing, railing, railing. Uh, let's, let's type in wood to make sure only wood material shows up. We need a railing. Uh, wood railing. Here we go. We're gonna need a lot of these, so I'm gonna make like I'm gonna make like 30 of them for now, and we'll see if we need more. Oh, that was 31, but it shouldn't cause the structure to collapse, right? I mean, they're just railings. They're light as fuck. They're just preventing me from falling to my death like a fucking idiot. Which, trust me, with my stupidity, I need all the help I can get. Maybe I need, like, a, a wood railing, like a bend? Um... Wood railing. Okay, well, first of all, we need one wood hatch. Wait, what? Okay, it wasn't making it for some reason. Why is it pink? Oh, tell me I haven't summoned a pink horde by doing too much. Please tell me that's just an effect of it becoming, like, night. Oh, I'm scared. I'm, I'm really not happy about this. Uh... How do I make a railing? Wait, hang on. Let me type in railing. I need like a corner railing. I need like a bend. Let's make one of these. Just see what it looks like. No, that's, that's not helpful at all. Well, whatever. We're going to use this. Oh. We need more railing. Oh, God, no. We do not need that many. Okay, yeah, this, this is easier if we just type it in. Uh, I'm going to say we need 16 more. But that's probably overzealous, but I would rather be safe than sorry and fall off like a dumb bitch. Uh, 
I mean, I don't think I'll ever be in a situation where I, like, need more than this, but... Okay, wait. Wait, hang on. There we go. That'll stop me. I mean, it looks ugly as sin, but... If it prevents me from committing suicide like a stupid person... I'm all for it. Like, really... Oh, there we go. Perfect. Wait, does that mean I can smash these? And I only need, like, the one? Oh, perfect. I do. Fantastic. Okay, well, this, this takes up significantly less space and, like, vision. So. Okay, well, that one apparently needed the support. So, let's, let's just. Let's just make one. How do I, how do I make this a thing? I need to be able to see it, damn it. There. Nailed it. 10 out of 10. Best railing. 10 out of 10. Railing of the year. The railing of the year award. I got my blunderbuss. I got my pistol. Both of which are hilariously low on ammunition. Wait, what's this doing? Nothing. Why is it on? Stop that. Okay. So, important question. Can I make more glass? I can make more glass jar. Okay, good. Let's make as many of them as it'll allow. Which is seven. That's good. That means more water. Uh, I have meat to make. I should definitely do that. So, grilled meat. Let's try grilled meat. Let's see what grilled meat, what the difference is. It's either slightly bare or it's an alternative. Either way, good meat. I think unlike chard, maybe it doesn't dehydrate you. Uh, well, it doesn't dehydrate you nearly as much. And it feeds you just as much. Okay. But you know what? After we uh, after we get this done, we will call it a video because I'm I've got more to record after this, and I would rather it not be like eleven o'clock at night by the time I'm done. So, we got two more vidyots to record. Two more seven days vidyots. And then Doki Doki happens. But yeah, um, like I said, if you want, like, less compilations, more videos, if you want daily uploads, I will do that. I do prefer compilations myself, but I would also be willing to do, uh, daily uploads, but... The thing with the compilations is, like, they're harder to work around, but I enjoy making them more. Whereas, like, daily uploads, they're super easy. And, I mean, when I'm not actually, like, saving a bunch of videos, I can get a lot done faster. Um. So, it's, it's kind of a mixed bag for me, because on one hand, I would like to actually be more efficient with video production. On the other hand, I enjoy making the compilations a lot more then I enjoy making standard content, so it's like, it's it's kind of like a mixed bag for me. Right, before we end this video, we need to put a hatch here. There we go. That is kind of a problem, though, the way it... Yeah, that's not going to work. We need it to be positioned differently, because otherwise we're going to be slamming face first into it as we go up the ladder. Okay, you know what we'll do? We'll create this hatch, and then we will call it a video. Is 
There we go. That's much better. Because now it opens up this way. There we go. Beautiful. Stop that. Okay, well, next time we will progress some more.